150. And I'll raise it 500. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five hundred more. If you can beat four of a kind, and all ladies. Damn those queens. Oh, don't take it too badly. <laughs> it's all in the luck of the game. <laughs> Try your luck, kid. Why, sure. Mind if I sit in for a while, gentlemen? And the cowboy wins again with two ladies. Sure does. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's the luck of a game, like you said, if you ask me. Nobody's asking. <laughs> sure does seem to be my night. Cut. You want to watch the kid, friend? It's your turn to open, Mac. All right. Everything I've got. My last thousand. What's the matter? Scared your luck will change? I'll see you. I'm out. I'm out, too. Cards? Give me two. And me. Well, cowboy? Full. <laughs> I have two. But mine's as high. One minute, you dirty cheat. Five aces. I got nothing to do with it. So don't start calling me names. What kind of a game have you been trying to play, mister? You mind telling me that? Now we've found out why you've been winning every hand. So don't act innocent. You've got it coming to you. I, I wasn't cheating. I wasn't. He pulled his gun first. You saw him. I, I wasn't cheating. I, I wouldn't do a thing like that. I didn't mean to kill him. It, it was self-defense. Well, you're, you're witnesses. You saw what happened. You saw him, didn't you? I didn't mean to kill him. I swear I didn't want to do it. I swear I didn't want to do it. I didn't. I didn't. Well, Sheriff?
Look after the body. Good morning to you. That's all for the moment, Lou. Okay, sir. This is the last one I'm telling you, so don't ask for more. That's all. Mind your manners, Vulgarian. You're speaking to a gentleman who's worth more than this town, and you and your lousy dump put it together. <laughs> ah, pardon. Sir, France is drink at your service. How do you do? Go on. Give my friend a drink. <laughs> Have any rooms free? Not today. They're all taken. Well, wait a minute. You're in luck. I am? One's just been vacated this very minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, look who's just come in. 
our famous manhunter in person. <laughs> Come on, Fred, give us another measure. Well, what are you going to have, honey? Same as last night? Hey, you at the bar. Oh, thank you. Who's talking to you? Yeah, you heard. You got anything worth playing for? That we're interested in. Well? Or are you just another penniless bum from the backwoods? Like I said, I'll be coming I back here next week. I assure you, my friend here will vouch. For How's that, that, honey? But you must. Not one drink. But I assure Take you. Take it away. Now listen. I love a little drink, won't do Look, me any harm. What are your stakes, stranger? <laughs> Johnny Dark's the name. My name's Stack. Room for another? I was just about to invite you. Ah, thanks. My name's Al, Alan Ross. Fred, my dear. Hey, who's this dude? See that? <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid he'll catch cold? <laughs> I've never known anyone win like that. It's incredible. Look, friend, if poker's too tough for you, you better stick to tiddlywinks. Ten dollars. Make it at least a hundred. You gonna offer me a drink? With great pleasure. Small be afraid. Right, right. And for me a dry sherry. Right. <laughs> Where do you come from? I'll raise it a hundred and fifty. Does it matter? I'm here now. Three aces. I'll be dogged. I tell you, it's incredible. Who are they? The one who's winning is new to me. The others? Mm, that fair guy's a traveling salesman. The dark one's a bounty killer. Your turn to open, Mr. Ross. I'll open a ten. Raise your thirty. See that? Thirty's keeping it too low. We'll raise that three hundred. Three hundred, then. I'm willing. I'm out. Cards? I'm fine. And you? Two cards. My last try. A thousand dollars. 
Where's yours? This gold make you happy? More than three pounds of it. Satisfied, pal? Perfectly, partner. Poker. Four aces. Take a look at these. Strange, don't you think? Not very. You're a bad loser. And I can't say I'm surprised. Why, you dirty thieving! Well, Sheriff, this one's different, Stack. A thousand dollars dead. Five thousand alive. He's got to tell us where he found that gold. You bet. Come on. Over here, Stack. Hmm? <laughs> Trust you, So long, Sir Francis. Out of the way. Where do you get your stack? In the shoulder. It's nothing serious, though. Had a narrow escape. This one isn't going to be so easy. You realize he's seen through it, don't you? Yeah, that could mean trouble for all of us. Don't worry, Sheriff. He won't get very far, that's for certain. I'll get that cowboy if it's the last thing I do. We'll go after them together. Hey, Sheriff. What does that mean? It's finished. Our little association is uh, come to an end. Prince and I are going back. The cowboy and his gold are all yours. You can keep them. Yeah. 
to bed. Still, if that's how it is. It is. You ready, Burns? Yes, Just sir. a minute. I'll settle my accounts now, if you don't mind. <laughs> Two weeks, Stack, and we ain't found them yet. Do you want to walk out, too? Ah. Good to see you, Alvarez. Hi, amigos. Buenos dias, senor. Over two hours we've been waiting. Que pasa? Not now. Too far. Come on. That's him. Cut him off. All right. Come on out, Johnny Dark. This time, you're not going to get away. That's what you think. Now drop those guns. <laughs> what about you, Stack? Now listen to me. The next time you get in my way, or even cross my path, I swear I'll kill you. So just stay out of my sight from now on. You understand? Thank you. 
goodness, what a great horse. If he dies, I'm going to keep it as my very own. Tony. You should thank the good Lord for having made you as tough as steel. You lost an awful lot of blood, you know. The children were <laughs> pretty scared. They both thought you were a bandit. I hope you're not. How long have I been here? We found you last week. So we got my father and he brought you to the house and we looked after you. We thought you were going to die, but you didn't, worse luck. Tommy, that's wicked. Jeepers, I only meant that if he died, his horse would belong to me now. Outside immediately. And say the Lord's Prayer ten times and ask God to pardon you for having such wicked thoughts. Yes, Pa. <laughs> you try and sleep now. Then Sally will get you some soup. I must get to work. These are difficult times. And we... We have a big ranch, so it's wiser to be prepared. Poor father. They're bad men about these days. So it makes him grumpy and worried. Nothing to do with me. Oh, my goodness, no. A man called Logan's causing all the trouble. Logan? His people are trying to swallow up all the land in this territory. And no matter whose it is, he wants to buy it. He sent some men over here a few weeks ago. They wanted to make us hand over everything and pack up and go. But upon my brothers, they just kicked him where it... Oh, I I'm sorry. Logan, come here. You can tell him to stop now. <laughs> All right, boys, that's it. <laughs> oh, hey, let me alone there. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Don't. 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 There's been no need for any of this unpleasantness. You've been smart enough to go when we first asked you. I see. <laughs> well, good morning, Sally. Beautiful day, isn't it? You're better today, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. Can't wait to stretch my legs again. But my knees, why, I feel shaky as a day-old calf. Hey. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Johnny, say I just rubbed down your horse for you and I fed him, and this morning I gave him a good run round in the yard. Still hope I'll die so you can keep him? Not anymore. You're too nice, and we all like you too much. <laughs> Especially Sally. Your sister's an awful little scamp like you. Sure. When Father had gone out one evening and you were still pretty ill, she went and got her dressmaking scissors and cut off a lock of your hair. Then she sewed it up in a little bag, and guess where she hid it? She hid it down here, that's where. <laughs> Jeepers! And when I say she's mad, no one wants to listen. Evening, McGovern. Tommy. It's one of the men who work for Dick Logan. Logan's gonna offer you another figure. He'll pay you $5,000, and you can have the money immediately. I'm not disposed to sell, and that goes for any price. McGovern, you're gonna be sorry for this. And while we're on the subject, I'd like to give you a little advice. You'd better not try using force with me, because I've already informed the county judge of what's going on. So tell that to your Mr. Logan. And remember that if anything should happen to me or to any of my children, 
you can be pretty sure where you'll end up. Now I've finished. So get off my land. I think you heard what McGovern said. So get out. What's the joke, you big idiot? I never realized that you'd master the art of reading, Dick. Most folks think all you can do is shoot. You talk too much. Here, this is your contract. Sign it and get out of my way. What happened? It was just what I thought. What do you mean? He made it clear he'd fight to keep his land. <laughs> uh, but there's another thing. Well, what are you waiting for, you old fool? Change your mind or something? Don't mention such a thing. If you knew my ranch... <laughs> for the last 12 years, I've been trying to get rid of that darn gravel pit. It's all there. No need to count it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wouldn't count it. We're all trustworthy, aren't we? It would be an unforgivable insult. We're gentlemen. I said we're gentlemen. Trustworthy gentlemen. One, two, three, four. I was just telling Logan, Mr. Marlowe, old McGovern still refuses to sell. And not only that, he's, uh, he's informed the county judge of your threats. Well, now, uh, there ain't no use in getting all riled. And who says that we'll be the ones to put the guy out? Looking for someone. Name a dark. I, I never saw such a man in this place. You are looking for him to kill. You want to murder, yeah? No. He's a friend of mine. Did me a great favor once. Ah, you was there. So I think you are going to return this favor. And if by chance you do him this favor, you will think of me. My name is Hans Müller. I'll buy dead man's horse from you. <laughs> In hell, man can't ride anymore. I won't forget. Johnny, why don't we go and fetch that horse now? We can build a corral later. Oh, come on. Now, don't get impatient, Tommy. Let's just do one thing at a time, eh? Hey, Johnny, tell me, will you? Is your mom alive? Is she? Uh-huh. You're lucky. I never saw mine. Pa says she's in heaven. Say, I got an idea, Johnny. I'm gonna go out looking for gold like you, and then, when I'm big, I can buy millions of horses. Johnny, Johnny, your horse is sick. It's feeling real bad. <laughs> well, what's the joke? If you give me a dollar, I'll tell you. <laughs> God. But there's nothing wrong with the horse. So what came into your mind? Why did you do it? Reasons. What's the matter? Well, you upset me. It's not my fault. You don't look at me. You don't even see me. Sally. At first, when you were sick in bed, I felt I was useful, at least. 
But now you're better. I might just as well not be here. Anyway, you'll be leaving soon, so everything will finish. Who says that I'm going to leave? I've been planning to ask your father to take me on here, as a matter of fact. So I'll be, well, like a brother to you. Brother? Whoa, Dad. <laughs> Easy. 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 Oh. <laughs> Simmer down. Simmer down. That's a good boy. Good boy. Gee, he's burning. <laughs> huh? Yeah, he was tough. Cheap as he's gonna be a real demon. Looks like we're gonna need some more seed, Pa. Mm -hmm. Tommy and Sally could go into Nogales, couldn't they? No, I'm afraid I don't like the idea they're going alone. If you want, I can go for you and get the horse shoot at the same time. You'll have to try and get old Norton to give you credit. Hmm, I can manage it. Here you are, Johnny. Mind you don't lose him. Norton will never give him credit. Oh, well, we can, but try. He'll have to shoot him first. Huh, not a hope. He's gone without his pistol. That's the one that's Major staying out of the McGovern place. Like I told you, him and me are going to settle an old score. Remember, Marlow? Avoid complications. Yeah. Well, I guess I misunderstood. You sure there's nothing else you want? Nothing else. Thanks. Not even a pretty little trinket for your girlfriend? Look, I got just the thing. It's cheap and it makes a good show. Why, most girls go wild for a string of beads. I'll buy it for 50 cents. But it's worth five dollars. Hi, friend. Huh? She needs shoeing. Oh, so come. For four shoes, I want two dollars. Okay, by me. If shoes cost two dollars, then how much do you want for a horse? Hmm? <laughs> Horses are very like the fräuleins in the saloon. You must pay a lot <laughs> for the good ones. <laughs> A traveler in a fine jacket should know that from experience. Uh, well, you have a horse you think would town in with the color of this jacket? Well, I'll come back later then. Hmm. Now, one moment. Am I wrong or did we two meet not so long ago in another county? You're mistaken. I've never seen you before today. You want to look? To see some horses? Would you mind coming along with me? I'd like your advice if you're willing. Be glad to. A really stupendous collection, I must compliment you. National characteristic, perfect organization, and great attention to all detail. What a lovely example of wood carving. As for a hand, I'll bite with these. I make them all myself. Traveler, you like chess? I was champion in three or four states. So I find myself a worthy rival. But now, what about the horses? As a connoisseur, you see my taste is in perfection. All horses of dead criminals that I buy from sheriffs and bandit killers. Bad men have good horses, nicht wahr? And a man must earn a living. This place is just like a museum. I'm no student. So long, stranger. Ah, by the way, I heard that yesterday in Tombstone, they killed Billy the Kid. I've booked this horse already. I will save it for you. Oh, I, yes, but only if it's um, orange-colored. 
Jawohl. Orange Pop? The leopard may change his spots, but not his nature. Mr. Marlowe? I see you seem to like our town, Donovan. Can't wait to get rid of me is what I think you mean. On the contrary, I can't thank you enough for having brought us a whiff of sophistication to this dung hill, this stinking muck heap. Most places smell of their inhabitants. True, Marlowe? Sure. But I expect to return to San Antonio soon, so I guess that we'll see each other again down there. Should the gods so will it, Marlowe? If you're looking for a place to sleep, stranger, there's uh, maybe a spare room we could give you. Well, you going to be around for long? Nope. Now, that's a real pity. I'd have been happy to show you around. Lily, go to your room. I'll look after him. Hmm. Oh, you, I've had enough of your idiotic jealousy. All right, stranger. What do you want? What? I'm talking to you. What do you want? You got anything to eat? Irish stew. Irish stew. Got anything else? Sausages. Sausages. And a beer. What's it cost? Irish stew, sausages, and beer. That's one dollar and fifty cents. Hey. Slim. Think he wants to pick on us? Would be a pity, Rod. Get the guy a drink. For you a drink or something? Thanks. What a response. Perfect timing, my boy, but more than that, animal strength. 
In a few months, you could develop into a first-class prize fighter. <laughs> Believe me. I have a friend who trains types like you. You'd make a fortune. The money'd roll in. And I'd want my share of it. Any idea what you'd get? Oh, I'd say several thousand dollars. My name's Donovan. Johnny Dark. My God, what went on here? A difference of opinion. I was looking for you, my friend, to tell you that your horse is ready when you are. Ach, ein Moment. Your name, of course. Today I speak with a man who is looking for you all over the country. You are Johnny Dark. Nicht wahr? You'd better explain. He said to be your great friend. <laughs> but I think it is not true. I already arranged to buy your horse, but I do not trust him. I do not like his attitude. You'll find it will be Stack's horse for sale. Stack? Who is that? The one you saw today. I assure you, I'm not in the least interested in the methods you use to acquire the land that you eventually sell to us. And I can assure you, my contracts and deeds of purchase are perfectly legal. Then uh, I can only offer you my compliments, Mr. Marlowe. You've succeeded where I and the rest of my associates if I may put it this way, have been wasting time and energy for many years. So what's wrong then? I've got your land. Haven't we discussed things enough? I feel that I ought to remind you that your contract with this company is due to expire within a week. And if by the end of that period we do not own all the territory necessary to complete the building of the railroad, you are going to be in trouble. Listen, I'll be sending you the final contract of sale within seven days. I hope you will, Mr. Marlowe. I hope you will. Still, perhaps I should refresh your memory. Should you fail, you must know that your personal contract will be voided. And that's my agreement to purchase any of your land. But then I'd be absolutely ruined. Look, I've paid out almost a quarter of a million dollars. I tell you, Mason, that's no joke. I'm leaving tomorrow. Try not to forget. You haven't got too much time. Only a week. Want me to put him out of action? You big idiot, that's no answer and you know it. Well, what is that? Why ask me, Logan? It's simple. There's only one thing to do. Surely you know what I mean, don't you? Mm, yeah, I do. I sure do, Mr. Marlowe. And we thank thee, most merciful Father, for this our daily bread and the knowledge of thy bounty. Amen. 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 You may all begin. Jeepers, it's good. Well, what's the matter, Johnny? Why aren't you eating? That's enough, Tommy. You've been looking pretty sick all day. Excuse me. I said he looked... Jeepers, he's wearing his gum belt. Well, didn't you see it? The quietness of our life on the land getting too dull for you? No, Mr. McGovern. My folks were like you. They worked their fields and trusted in Providence. While I wanted to make a fortune on my own. Working my guts out for a year in the mountains. Huh. And this is all I got out of it. I want to see my folks, that's all. Can we do anything for you? No. Yeah. You might keep this for me. It'll be a lot safer with you. And it'll be one more reason for coming back. But when? My 
my son. Soon, I hope. Oh. Sally. Oh. He's gone. He's left us. <laughs> I told him I wouldn't sell it that price. So he said, uh, okay, you're ready. Well, where have you been, you been sweetheart? Huh? Joining up with me uh, could solve your problem. Within a matter of a few months, we'd both be rich. Here's your drink, Paul. It's time we went out to feed the animals now. Right. Tommy, come on. All right. Go on. You men move in now and wait for the signal. to repair the well. I know, Pa. I promised that I'd do it. Fine. Well, I'll call the children in and lock the stable. Good night. Good night. Good night. You must ride into town and get help and take Tommy with you. Go on. Come on. I want to stay here. I don't like it. The story of your friend doesn't ring true. All right, I won't fool you, Johnny. I was in Brownsville when you were there recently. Don't grab for your pistol, Johnny. Why <laughs> don't you want me to help you out? Who do you think you are? My fairy godmother, is that it? I have my own good reasons for wanting you to avoid Stack. Stack? 
You're surely aware there's a price on your head and he wants it. So you'd better make up your mind. Catch him out there again. I'm going to What's that? Mm-hmm. Your gentleman, it's McGovern's daughter. And she's all alone. What? Sally. Johnny. What's wrong? They suddenly started attacking us. Pa and my brothers are going to be killed. You gotta hurry. You gotta go and help my pa. Please, Johnny. Better take her to your house, Sarah, and put her straight to bed. Alvarez, what made you kill them all, huh? Mm-hmm. It's muy claro. Nobody can talk about us. Uh, you should have set fire to the farm and made the old man sell. Now Marlo says... Oh, Marlo, Marlo says, Marlo wants, Marlo commands, always Marlo. Yankee, Marlo can help himself, the land is all there. But we need a McGovern to sign a formal act to sell, you half-breed idiot. What did you call me? Uh, Yankee. You go back to your friend, Marlo. But why Slim? I was there. I saw him threaten McGovern. What's this? That sombrero? A simple trick to remove any suspicion. And a pretty filthy trick, too. Now, there's someone who can tell us where to find Slim. Thank you. 
You're so good to me, Sarah. You must try and get some rest. No, now. I've got to go to the ranch. Oh, now, settle Paul down. Paul, my brothers will be needing me. Now, don't you worry. Your nice young friend's gone out there with Mr. Donovan, remember? <laughs> oh, Johnny, you'll help us. <coughs> <coughs> And threatening your queen. Uh -huh. And I save her. Ah. And I lose my little knight. My turn to eat up your little night. So where is he? Uh, all bars. Where? Uh, Mesa Grande. Uh. <laughs> Checkmate. Sure, I know. I. will be grateful for this little gift. Is he up there? Where is he? He was an enemy. I've traveled a long way to bring him here, so you'd better let me through. Esta bien. Alvarez, he will be very glad. Yes. Seems deserted. I'd be very much surprised. <clears throat> okay, come on. So hot. If you have something worth cooking, we can light it again immediately. As you see, we'd like to give you a warm welcome. Drop your gun. <laughs> you fell for an old trick. Many eyes watch over Mesa Grande. pay for your stupid mistake. Ah, the beautiful suit you are wearing. It will be a pity to spoil it, senor. <laughs> so we will have to kill you in the nude. <laughs> Take off his clothes. We will 
shoot him at once. You'll be sorry for this. I doubt if Marlowe will be very pleased if he finds out you've killed us. You are in contact with his senor Marlowe? We both are. My friend and I are known as his two best enemies. Enemies? Yes, enemies, General. Senor Marlowe will certainly pay well for the pair of us, provided we're not dead. How much money would Senor Marlowe pay for you? Not much, I suppose, but at least five or six thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars? I've done more difficult things for much less. Ah, Just a minute. Don't listen to him. It's a pack of lies. You won't get a cent for these two. Senor Slim, if I'm right. Huh? You know each other? Oh, we do. Just like him to plan to take us to Nogales himself and then claim the money. Ah, so there's your idea. Take them away. Felipe, you go into Nogales and see what Marlowe has to say. Hey, you. What is your name? Oh, Donovan. And my friend's Johnny Dark. Bueno. Give that to me. Yeah. Why don't you use your head once in a while, you great numbskull? Numbskull? Oh, what is this numbskull? Very no, well, I'm Yankee. No, what's don't the matter with you? No! Uh, uh. Better, amigo. Maybe your idea of the sombrero was right. Yes. It's a pity Slim can no longer confirm it. But who's Marlowe? A leading citizen of Nogales. At one time, he used to have dealings with the Mexicans. That's why I threw his name around. Yeah. I thought Alvarez might respond. He responded all right. I doubt if this poor fellow did. Alvarez wasn't so impressed by his way of dressing, however. <laughs> Marlowe. You know him well? An adventurer. Custom tailored, hmm? How shall I put it? A double cross are far too common along this frontier territory. Yes. Is he rich? Of course. Apparently. <laughs> but I have my doubts. Bloodthirsty idiot. The fool hasn't got a brain in his head. All he had to do was destroy the farm. I didn't say he had to butcher the family. And where's Slim got to? Hmm? Ah, that's splendid. What did you want to say? Uh, there's one of Alvaro's men out there. These bugs are cracking like crazy. Oh, look, they go with my socks. <laughs> How thoughtful of our host. That's all you get. Sancho. That's me now. Wine, Alvarez. Ah, si, mucho gracias. Si. Is that, that all? It's all, Paquita. <laughs> for the for the moment, eh? For the moment. <laughs> Up to boy, come into him. Si, te doy buen vivir. Be safe to put him on now. <laughs> Donovan, my darling, what are you doing here? It's your Paquita. Sure it is, can't you see? <laughs> Don't you remember me? Paquita! Oh, but I've never forgotten you, my dear. It's just that you disappeared completely. I disappeared? You big liar, you left me, said you were going out for ten minutes to see a man about a horse, and that was two years ago. Little Paquita. Now that at last we've found each other, you won't escape anymore. Don't let me there. No! Leave her alone. Don't touch her. 
I won't let you. Get dressed. Oh. are both working for us. Who do you suppose runs a coach like that? Looks like Marlowe's. Marlowe's? Wait a minute. You get a room at the hotel. Mm. You won't run away. I'll join you in two minutes, my dear. Just coming to see you. What's wrong? Donovan. But I haven't had coffee yet. Donovan. Oh. to a summer's day. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Don't you find that just too, too exquisite? Ah, yes. You listen to this. Ah, yes. Oh, no. Uh, Don't speak anymore. Don't say anything. Love speaks louder than words. Uh, you mean action, I think. Yes, I do. Uh. The music, Donovan. Just the beating of our two hearts together. Donovan. Donovan. Donovan! <laughs> Get the 
That's enough. All right, take him away. What do you mean? He's mine. He's mine, I tell you. You do not pay me nothing. You'll get paid when this deal's been tied up. And if the girl does not want to sign? She will. You watch him anyway. Got him ready? Yeah, I reckon so. Wanna have fun, do ya? Have it your own way. Ready for Marlowe. You murderer! Let go of me! Let me go, I say! You'll soon go, but first is a document to sign selling your father's ranch. You'll never make me do it. I know you killed him and my two brothers. Somehow I think you'll sign. We'll see. Someone wants to see you, so come on. Now you'll feel more like signing this. Come on. I'm ready. Don't sell. Don't. They'll kill us just to save. Go on, Rodney. What's going on? They got a bandito, senor. Johnny Dark. Johnny Dark, did you say? Si, senor. He dishonored my Maria, my daughter. He ruined her life forever. I pay. Much for revenge. Much gold. Mil pesos. Thousand. In gold? In gold. You found the right man. See, si, I think so. Oh, no, 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 don't stop. But first, you've got to put your signature on that contract. All right. All right, I'll sign. <laughs> you murderer. <laughs> <laughs> right, amigo. What do you suggest we do? Just wait. Something's biting up virus. We'll get rid of them then. We must avoid complications, Logan, at all costs. And you keep your eyes open, muchachos, eh? Si, senor. Listen, you go around behind the houses. I will take this side. Why waste time like this? Now you will see. <laughs> 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 
each other like wild beasts, senor. Oh. Ah. They betrayed us, murderers, fuego a voluntad. Ah. What do we do? Somehow we've got to get out of this trap. be killed. There should be some way to get out of here. Hey, get All right. I go. Look, I wouldn't want you to be killed now, amigo. Look out! A shot of this will do you good. <laughs> we must get away now. I... I don't know how to thank you. Don't worry about that. You'll find a way soon enough. <sighs> It's unmerglich, a brigade of cavalry. I've got quite a bargain for you. Donovan! You are selling? Paquita, look after Sally, will you? I'm sorry, but be patient, my dear. I'll explain later. You come along to my room. Yes, all in first-class condition, with harness and saddles thrown in. What do you say, my love? 
Yeah, yeah. Later on, we'll discuss money. the way to win your man. Pile up your hair so your face looks longer. And with a grown-up kind of dress on, you'll be really surprised how pretty you are. You'll see. 2,600, 2,007, 2008, 2009, $3,000, right? Yes. Oh, well. It's all over now. And No, I'll... Johnny. Don't look so shocked. Unfortunately, you take things at their face value, Johnny. And that's a mistake. Tie his hands. Have I surprised you? Strangely enough, I'm sure I have. But you weren't surprised that I followed you. You never once asked yourself why. Why I should save your life. But you're worth a great deal alive, Johnny. In money, I mean. There's a price on your head. Five thousand dollars. It's equivalent to a fine herd of milking stock or a comfortable ranch. You're as dirty as the rest. You're right, but facts are facts. And business is business. One trade is as good as another. Don't you agree, Muller? Jawohl. Why'd you wait then? Why, Johnny? Because following you has been like digging in a gold mine. And then there were McGovern's. No one should let a crime of that nature ever pass by. You had a right to avenge them. Johnny, Doc! You see, Johnny? Another one. As I told you, my friend, you're worth a lot of money. Muller, I wouldn't try anything if I were you. I'm going to see who it is. better than me. Too bad you came too late. I'm taking him to the sheriff. You'd be smarter if you didn't. This whole reward is just a big fake. Brilliant. A fake in keeping with that rigged poker game of yours. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. Now what? It's personal. Yeah. In that case, you'd better fight it out on your own. But this time on equal terms. Nothing I can do to make you change your mind. No. In that case, it's in your hands, Johnny. And if you want to live, then shoot.
<laughs> they settled on a price for Johnny's horse, eh? I've told you already, the horse you will buy will be Stacks and not Johnny's. Want? Two hundred dollars. This time, you won't make a fool of me. Johnny! No, Stack! Johnny. Here. Then as we agreed, we'll give half to Johnny. Well, partner, now it really is all over. I've left your share of the money with Muller. One last thing. Don't rely too much on appearances. Thank you. And you'd better not forget the tools of your trade. Amigo? Donovan! Donovan! The ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, wish me luck. Uh. Get up! <laughs> <laughs> 